we'll, 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 we'll go to Shaquille O'Neal. And uh, Shaq was on his podcast, the Big Shaq podcast. And I want to say he was talking to Mario Chalmers. And he mentioned something about super teams. And, and he said something that I thought was real interesting. Like, man, imagine that. And I've and 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 I've thought about this before, but I thought about it from the Michael Jordan perspective. If Michael Jordan had a team up or a super team thought process or mentality, or if Michael Jordan uh when he left the Bulls at age 34, 35, decided I still got more years in me and I want to compete. Um, wherever Phil's going, I'm going. And Phil went to LA to coach. If Mike would have joined LA, he would have been playing with Shaq and Kobe. And uh, you know, he would have he would have chased rings that way. That's that's what we're seeing from uh guys like LeBron and Kevin Durant now. Like uh they are um, you know, LeBron is 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 saying, uh, I want to keep playing. I want to keep playing and uh, um, I'm not ready to stop playing, right? Uh, but I can't carry a team by myself. So uh, guess what? You know, I, jo- I just joined some 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 young stud or something like that, right? <laughs> so <laughs> that's what they're doing. And it's and it's prolonging their career and it's making it seem like they're doing something that's, uh, uh, you know, hard to do. Right. Like, uh, hey, you know, I, 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 I get to go to a squad and I get to handpick a new young uh, co-star to play with. And uh, he, you know, he makes me look like I'm still young and, and, and vibrant. But that's not really what it is. Right. You know, and I think I think anybody at 35 could have done what LeBron is doing and said, let me just ha- start handpicking superstars to play with. And let me just start forcing all these trades. But anyway, let me get to what Shaq said. I think people were upset because, especially guys that that you know we play this game. If we knew that was acceptable, probably a lot of us would have switched up. If I if I knew that was acceptable, I would have just went to Chicago. If I knew that that was acceptable, I would have went and played with the Spurs. If I knew that was okay, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I would have went and played with a team that was almost there, like Utah. I would have went and played in Utah. Like if I knew that that was acceptable, we always thought like, nope, you gotta stay. You the man, you the guy, you gotta get it done. You gotta stay, you gotta make trades, you gotta do this, you can't. And it, I, I think he did it before it was acceptable. It's acceptable now. People just I wanna go here, I wanna do this, I wanna oh hey, you you play on the team, play on the team, let's get on this team and create a big three. But again, if I knew that was acceptable, I just would have went and played with Mike. If I'd have played oh with Mike. Oh my god. <laughs> but I think that no, 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 no. Yeah, but that was, but that was by, no, no. But that was from 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 working the thing. Like I didn't know them. I saw them and I went upstairs and be like, "Hey, bring me Penny and bring me her." It ain't like I knew them. Be like, "Hey, man, I, I know the you play with Bill." The game is the one superstar is done. Yeah. Everybody too good now. Everybody too good. Everybody too good. You gotta have somebody with you. <laughs> you can't do it by yourself. You no can't do it. It's, yeah. Everybody's too good now. Honestly, the game has evolved so much. You got guys like Wimbiana. He's seven four, doing things you've never, never imagined. Kevin Durant, things that you've never imagined. These, the things that Luca does, Jokic. How much the game has evolved from position to position. Ain't no, ain't no one superstar winners no more. That's Go all. ahead, Adam. A lot of you guys. Have- yeah, so that's interesting, right? So, so first of all, I disagree with what Lou Williams said. He said, uh. He said the one, the one, the one superstar per team thing is done. Well, we just seen Denver win with one superstar, right? Um, so the the formula how it was. I right, I always use Michael Jordan and the Bulls as a standard, you know, because they, you know, it's 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 they. I mean, Michael Jordan is definitely a standard, and how they did it is definitely definitely be looked at as a, as a standard, right? So. Uh, what they had was a superstar in Michael Jordan. Now he was the best player in the league, so that's 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 a heck of a superstar to have, right? That's the big joker in the space. So you got the big joker, you got one superstar, and then you got a co-star that's a legit number two. I mean, this is a a, a legit co-star that is an all-star. Some would say a superstar, right? So you got at the very best, you have two superstars surrounded around role players. Right now, these role players are vets. They're high basketball IQ. 
Some of them are specialists as far as shooters. Some of them are specialists as far as rebounders. Some some of them is there just to play defense. You know, uh, you know, it, it, it's a wonderful mix of what you're supposed to, uh, you know, build a team with. And it's easier to do it that way because you you're paying the superstar and you probably playing paying the co-star and the head coach and everybody else's role players. You ain't got to break the bank for them, right? So, um, have we seen that recently? Yes, we've seen it with Denver, a, a, a legit superstar in uh, Jokic. Some of them would say he's the best in the league, just like Jordan was, and a legit number two co-star who probably got. A little bit of number one in his game. We haven't seen him as a number one. Uh, he hasn't made an All Star yet, but uh, he's 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 an All Star caliber player, right? Uh, and Jamal Murray surrounded around role players, and they won it because they play good defense. They play a, a high sophisticated, a highly sophisticated offense, just like the triangle was, and they won. Uh, Tim Duncan with the Spurs, superstar. His co-star, whether you want to say it was Ginobili or Parker, uh, you know, what they're not on the level of Wade or Pippen or or nothing like that, but they're legit number two co-star. So he had a co-star and role players, right? When he won it with David Robinson, David Robinson was the co uh, what was his co-star with role players, Avery Johnson, Shine Elliott, you know, those guys, right? Uh uh won it again, his last ring emerging Ka- uh, Kawhi Leonard but you know Tony Parker was still his co-star you know so you don't need three superstars that's overkill because what Tim Duncan is is exactly what LeBron is what Tim Duncan is is exactly what Wade is and what Tim Duncan is is exactly what Bosch is they all were superstars who could carry a team as a number one player and who did carry teams as number one players so uh, to say that you 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 have to have that to win now is not true. You don't have to have three Tim Duncans. You don't have to have three Michael Jordans. And I wouldn't say I wouldn't say uh, you know uh, Bosch is on on that level of a Jordan level, but Bosch is definitely on that level of a Pippen. So uh, LeBron and Bosch would have been just fine, but to go add Wade, <laughs> that's overkill. Right. Uh, you know, so I mean, that's overkill. Like that's w- Wade. like Wade is a number one hands down. And we're going to talk about that later on the, on the last segment. But Wade is a number one hands down. Right. So at the at the worst, Bosch is a number two, like a Pippen. So, no, you don't need that. You don't need two number ones or three number ones. You know, you you, you just don't. Right. So but back to what Shaq said. It's acceptable now. Like people look at it and it was like, uh, and the only reason why it's acceptable is because you don't want to, you don't want to destroy LeBron for doing it. You know, you want to make it okay because this is, this is somebody, you know, we, we, we're propping up in the NBA and you can't, you can't shoot him down. Right. That's how people are looking at. So, all right. I, well, since LeBron did it, I guess it's okay. Let's, let's, let's talk around it to make it a, a okay thing. Now it's acceptable. All right. It's okay. Form a super team. And, and Kevin Durant don't, he can't escape this as well. The same scrutiny you give LeBron, you got to give KD as well. The same scrutiny you give LeBron, you got to give Steph as well. Because he let KD come join him. Now, was it at the level of a, a Wade, Bosch, and LeBron? I don't think so, because I don't think Clay is on that level. I don't think Clay is a Bosch level, Wade level, or LeBron level player. But Steph and KD definitely is. So you got two of those guys, which is fine. I'm fine with two of them, right? But to have three of them is definitely overkill, right? But Shaq said it's okay now, and if I knew it was okay, if I knew that you you were going to count my rings the same way you counted Jordan's rings, and you're going to forget about the journey to those rings, like if if I knew that the six rings that Jordan got and the way he got them we're still going to look at the four rings that LeBron got and say, ah, oh, they got it the same way. We just go ahead and ignore the fact that he team hop, handpicked teammates, handpicked superstars, had overkill on his uh, on his roster, 
fired whoever he needed to fire, traded who near who. It, it, it's, it's almost like if you get dealt a hand in Uno, right? And we want to know who the best Uno player is. And we've seen someone with a horrible hand still win because they know how to navigate the board. And we've seen him with a great hand still win. He really knows how to play Uno. But every time this other player gets a bad hand, he's able to say, I'm throwing my hand in, let's reshuffle the deck, and let me get a new hand. That's what he does every time he shows up to a team and say, all right, that's the squad, let's reshuffle the deck. I want him, I want him, I want that superstar, trade him, fire that coach, do all that, okay, now I got a good hand, now let's go win. Right? You skip, you skipping everything because what, how we see how good you are is how you navigate things when when you have adversity, you know, uh, like Michael Jordan. Okay, Scottie Pippen elected to have surgery, you know, that last year they was in Chicago, missed half the season. Who's gonna help me? They started out losing games. They they weren't playing good basketball, right? So what they say in the last dance, he said he went to Rob and said, "Hey man, I need you. Rob Pippen's gone. You can't be a party or just like like you've been doing. I need you to lock in." at least until Pippen get back. When Pippen comes back, you can, you can let your hair down. But I need you to lock in. So Rodman locked in, and Jordan was like, all right, let's figure out how to win without Pippen. He didn't go to the organization and say, hey, look, man, trade Pippen and get me somebody that can play right now. That That's what LeBron did when Wade showed up in Cleveland with him. It wasn't working, and before the trade deadline, he was like, look, all of them need to go. Because what I'm not going to have is a wasted year. I need to catch Mike. I need to get six rings. I have to get six rings. So anybody that's not helping me get those six, they got to go. Coach, player, it don't. my best friend, it don't matter who it is. I'm trading you. And if I can't get the players I want in Miami like I want them to, then I'm leaving and going back to Cleveland. All, you know, all this maneuvering. That's called reshuffling the deck. I get a bad hand. I don't like it. I get to throw it in and say, I don't have enough spades. Give me more spades. But a great spades player will be like, man, I got one spade. I'm playing this hand, and I'm going to figure out how to make board, me and my partner, or we're going to figure out how to get more than that. Not LeBron. I don't like the hand I got. Throwing it in, reshuffle the deck. Give me, a, give me, give me another hand. You can't you can't reshuffle the deck and ask for a different hand every time you get a bad hand. So that's my whole point. And 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 like I said, um, uh, Shaquille O'Neal is saying, "Well, we're we're making it okay. We're 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 calling it the same way. We're counting. We're saying that the rings that you get by forming super teams is equal to the rings you get by not forming super teams, right? Uh, you take a shortcut, and I take the long way, and they're counting it just the same." You know, we both trying to get to a destination and we got to run five miles to get there. And I run and you ride a bike and we both get there and we both go celebrate that we got there. But you ran. Right. Uh, I mean, it's just a different race that LeBron ran. Right. The people that came before him ran a race on this track and it was a hundred meter dash. He was on a totally separate track. And was like, I can't beat you at the 100, but guess what? I'm just going to keep running this marathon. And then at the end of my marathon, I'm going to say, I did it better than you. Well, no one was running the marathon. We was all running the 100. Like the the, the players like Kobe and Mike, they all were running uh, to get rings. Their, their goal as a basketball player was to make my game is is uh complete as possible number one i want to be the best player number one and number two i want to win the most rings that was their goal nowhere on that list was it accumulate stats because if 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 we all started out at the beginning of the career and everybody was like hey the name of the game is to get the most stats the player with the most stats uh, uh, you know, is is the is the best player. Like if that if that was running a race to be the uh, best player ever, and to get the most stats, they would have ran the race different. You, you get what I'm saying? That makes sense. Like who I, I, LeBron was racing, or, or running a race that nobody else was running. Like no nobody else was running it the, the, the stats race. Everybody was running the rings race and the best player race, and. 
I think that uh, uh, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant achieved that. They both turned their self into the best players we ever seen. We haven't seen players as good as uh, and as complete as MJ on both ends of the floor. And then they went out and got five and six rings respectively, right? They went out and got those rings. That's That was their goal. But a, a guy comes out to them and say, hey, I got more stats than y'all. So, <laughs> And they're, they're looking like, dude, we, we wasn't running the stats race. We was running the rings race and the best player race. So the stats race is, 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 is just not a, a, not a thing. And the last thing I say before I open my phone lines up, um, Kobe Bryant came into the league and he measured himself. Well, he first looked at the standard. He said, man, who's the best player that I've ever seen? Who made the game complete? Who played the game on both ends of the floor? Who did it the best? And he looked, and that was Michael Jordan. So he measured himself and said, this is where I'm at. And that's where Michael Jordan is. And there was a gap between them. So what did he fill that gap with? He filled it with, I'm going to talk to Michael Jordan and get everything that he knows. I'm going to talk to his coaches. I'm going to talk to other players like Gary Payton to get what he knows on defense. I'm going to talk to Brian Shaw. I'm going to talk to all these guys, right? This is what I'm going to do. And that's what he filled the gap with to catch up with Mike. That gap between me and Mike as a player, I'm going to fill it with hard work and and know-how so I can close that gap as cl- uh, and get close as Mike as I can because he's the standard. He's the best player I ever seen, right? Well, LeBron did it different. He did the same thing. He showed up. He seen where he was at, and he seen where Mike was at, and there was a gap. And it's still a feeling that gap because no one taught – LeBron, every nothing, right? You know, you let him tell it. You let players uh, that play with him, players like Isaiah Thomas and stuff like that, they tell you LeBron didn't learn anything. He didn't have he didn't have the best coach in the world like Phil Jackson. LeBron is self taught, so no one taught him anything. So when he when he seen the gap between him and Mike, he didn't go to no coaches or no other players and say, "Let me pick your brain." He didn't go to Jordan to pick his brain. Maybe he did. I don't know, uh, but he won't say he did. He didn't do these things and try to fill the gap with getting. Uh, better to see how good he uh, uh, could get to Mike. What he did with that gap is say, I'm going to fill that gap with players and teammates that can do the things that I can't do. Like Mike can shoot the mid range. I can't shoot the mid range. So I get a player who can come on down. uh, D Wade, come on down. Kyrie Irving, right? Come on down. Bosh, come on down. AD, come on down. Ray. Let me get a player that can do the things that I can't do to fill the gap between where I'm at and where Mike is at. at. Um, Let me fill the gap with uh, multiple superstars because, you know, that's what he, that's what he says. He's good. I'm good at passing the ball around and stuff like that. Well, Hey, look, well, you still got a gap between you and Mike. So what you going to do? Well, I can just fill that gap with players. Wade, Bosh, Love, AD, Kyrie. I, I, I fill that gap. That's not what – that's a totally different thing than what uh, uh, Kobe Bryant did. Totally different thing. 